What's up, everybody? Big Herc 916. Positivity, motivation. Never settle for average. Pick you up some merch at nsfa.co and represent because I know you're not average if you're watching this channel. Um, I put up a video recently about California passing a law about not being able to use a person's lyrics against them in court. And I talked about how that's not really changing anything because at the top of the music charts is still a bunch of music that idolizes dysfunctional behavior, calling the women bees and the brothers the ends and killing each other. So it's like you're still putting a Band-Aid on uh, a bullet wound. It ain't going to stop the bleeding because we're still pushing a very dark negative with our culture. And if somebody commented, why do you always talk about black culture? Why not represent the underrepresented groups like Asians and Spanish? Well, for one, I'm not Asian or Spanish. And so I can't speak on their cultures because I'm not within that demographic. I know people who are Asian and, um, you know, they are pretty successful. They've never talked about, you know, drawing down on another Asian in, in particular or killing somebody that looks like them just because. And I know there are Asian gangs, but I can't speak on them because I'm not an Asian gang member. And there are, of course, Hispanic gangs. And yeah, they have um, their own music and they might talk about violence in their music, but I can't speak on that because I don't listen to that music. But um, the, 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 you know, Mexicans that I happen to know are quite successful. And it's not to say that I don't know successful black people, but I'm black, so I speak on black culture. And I'm not trying to separate by race, but race is what's always in your face, and that's what you guys adhere to. If somebody white dies, you don't say, oh man, you know, black culture, white person died. You, get, you don't even pay attention, but when it's a black person, you're like, oh man, he's black. Why'd they do that to him? So it's prevalent. Even though that's how they divided us, it's something that people look at and it's what the media addresses because they like to keep us separated. You know, I wish they didn't have all these different races and have to distinguish black, white, Mexican, Asian, Native American, mm -hmm. you know, but that's how they have us in society for a reason. So we don't come together. And, um, I speak on that because it hurts me when I see black people just killing each other and nobody really says anything. It's not addressed. And I'm not saying every black person kills each other because there's a lot of successful black people. I know some brothers that are, you know, doing their thing that are achieved level of success that aren't rappers, that aren't athletes. You know, there's a handful of brothers I know that have um, risen through the ranks. But when I see young black men throwing her life away and nobody's talking about it. So I got to be a voice, you know, no, you, you want to go under the covers and, and, and plug your ears and not, not address it. But if we don't address it to make changes, then how are we going to get these young men to recognize that they're destroying their lives? And see the people who tell me this, they haven't been in juvenile hall. Most of them, they haven't been in California youth authority or the boys ranch or federal penitentiary, so they don't know the cycle and the mentality, and they never had the reflection time. They never really sat back and just broke down why the system is broken. Why does it, you know, constantly uh, repeat itself, and you see little to no change. You got grown men who have lacked a father figure, therefore have grown up resenting black men, therefore their hate toward another black man comes natural because they have most likely had hate for their dad, therefore for them to hate another man 
that resembles anything close to themselves, it's easy to ad adopt that mentality. And that's why they can turn around and say, you know what I mean? F that in, man, you know, and not think about his family, his kids, or what future he may have. It's easy to just throw it out the window. And now he goes to prison and his kid sees him in prison. So he looks up to his dad, but he's not there. And then the mom is there, but she has a boyfriend now and he sees that conflict. So then that creates a, a whole nother mental uh, cycle within that young man, which grows up now resenting his dad because he wasn't there. He has a stepdad and maybe that stepdad doesn't treat him right. So he hates him. So now he has anger towards two black men. So it's repetitive. Do you see where I'm going with this? I study this stuff, man. I sat back and looked at my own life and how I had anger for my stepdad who was a black man and how uh, he treated my mom in certain situations and how he treated me and how he treated me different than my brother and my sister and how um, I perceived other black men. So I had a lot of issues, man. And I didn't realize until I got to the pen and reflected. So when you talk about why I don't address certain things, man, look, man, I address what needs to be addressed because nobody else is addressing it. Everybody gets these accolades. You get a Grammy for this. You get a, a, a hip hop award for this. You get a BET award for this, but nobody's sitting here and saying, Hey man, we need to stop this shit. Why don't you guys rap about something different? You got a God-given talent, but they put this music right at the top of the list. So when you hear the first 10 songs that are on the top 20 that are all black rappers, and it's talking about dysfunctional behavior, getting high, popping pills, um, having multiple baby mamas, killing, then it makes it seem like, hey, man, it's not that bad. If I can navigate through all that and maybe become successful, then... It's the way society is. And when we normalize that shit, man, that's when it becomes just destructive for our whole culture. It's, it's, and then you have these other cultures who, you know, come in and emulate that and talk about it. But it's our culture that influences everybody else. We lead by example, man. Just like when you looked at all the old gospel music, all the old rhythm and blues you know, the pop, the rock, we started all that, man. We had we had the forefront of it, and then it spun off, and they realized, like, hey, man, if we can give a bag to these young men, but we control the narrative as far as what they talk about and how they do it, then, yeah, we're going to put them right at the top. But when you try to say other things, and your music, it's good music out there. There's a lot of good other music that is hip-hop, that's conscious, that's very well articulated, but it doesn't get the exposure because that's not what they want young men to follow. This is the Pied Piper going on right here, man. They know that certain tunes is going to, you know, hypnotize. And when you're young, you listen to this music. Maybe you have a little bit of drink in you. Maybe you have a little bit of drugs in you. Man, you'll do things that you won't realize the consequence until you're sitting in that penitentiary, man. So, yeah, I talk about this. And it's not to talk down on the people. It's to try to uplift you, man. You don't get it. I keep telling y'all, man, but you hard-headed, man. You hard-headed. You talk about I'm down in the race. I'm trying to help y'all, man. I've seen it, man. I don't want to see little dudes going to juvenile hall. You know, you guys abandoning your kids because you're in prison. And then you're in there trying to survive. And then you got a single baby's mama. I'm tired of seeing that shit, man. I'm sick of it, man. I'm tired of people that look like me, mad dogging me, you know, uh, all over the news doing stupid shit because they don't have any black role models, any strong males in their life. And they mamas is like, you know, they don't know what to do with them, but they trying to save these young black men. It's the same shit they were doing in slavery, whooping the shit out of this big brother right here. And, 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 the, and the, the wife is sitting there. She can't stop the slave master, young kids seeing that. So they broken. They doing the same shit they were doing during slavery right now with the music breaking us. You guys, man, I'm telling you, man, I keep lacing you up, trying my damnness, man, but a lot of you guys are hard-headed, man. You hard-headed. Go to my Rumble, man, subscribe, Big Kirk 916 man. Go to Locals, Fresh Out, man, and, you know, over there I give us some real deep game, but I'm trying to help y'all, man, and you guys are just, re you guys are spitting it out. 
you, 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 ah, you don't want to, you don't want to eat the food, of, the, the food of knowledge. I'm trying to bless you with, man. I keep trying to give you gems, but you are so brainwashed on what they've told you to think that, hey, I'm trying to hate on the, our, our culture. I'm trying to, I want to see our culture win, man. I love seeing brothers ball and successful, you know, happy, not doing stupid shit, not committing crime. I love to see that, you know, it, 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 it sends me into sadness when I see the other stuff because I know what the end game is, man. And then when they get shot by the police or beat up, you're like, oh, man, they shot a brother. This brother done robbed 10 people, man. He done pistol with somebody, did all this stuff. He done robbed all these people. He done, he done got caught up in all this other stuff. And not all of them, but when we see that, we don't have the whole story. And then on top of it, he put himself in a horrible position. It's like I did for myself. Why put yourself in a horrible position? I don't even want to see that, man. I'm trying to help you guys, man. Big Herc 916, man. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Stop walking around with a crusty butt, smelly ball sack, and a funky hoo-ha. Big Herc said wash that ass. Pick you up a t-shirt at FreshOutSeries.com. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.